Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Jim Gardner. The parents of a toddler with cancer say that one decision they made made all the difference in the world for their little girl. Health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman is here with quite a story. Yes, and this truly did make all the difference in the world. The family could have had a much different ending. So this is a story about the value of a second opinion. It's also about two local hospitals working together to help children. Two-year-old Manaya Reeves is recovering from a procedure that has not only saved her life, but also her left eye. Her parents, Walter and Rabina, noticed when she was just six months old a white glimmer in her eye whenever they took her picture. After seeing all of these pictures on, on my computer screen every day, I kept on thinking something's wrong. He was right. An eye specialist diagnosed Manaya with retinoblastoma, cancer in the back of the eye. It was a nightmare. I mean, I just cried and cried for days. She was treated at a hospital in Washington, D.C. Traditional chemotherapy given throughout her body shrank the tumor. But when she was almost two, another appeared. This time they were told options were limited. They scheduled surgery to remove Manaya's eye. But at the urging of her grandparents, they decided to also get a second opinion at Will's Eye Institute. Their appointment in October was the day Hurricane Sandy was approaching. Rain pouring and we're heading up 95 and, and the whole way I'm thinking I should just turn back. Meanwhile, Dr. Carol Shields at Will's Eye was hurrying to see patients and close the clinic before the road shut down. But after evaluating Manaya, she had good news. Manaya was a perfect candidate for a new procedure only done at a handful of medical centers. It's very exciting for us. You know, this is one of the most exciting things that's happened with uh, retinoblastoma management. Will's Eye has teamed up with doctors at Jefferson University Hospital to perform intra-arterial chemotherapy. Neurosurgeon Dr. Pascal Jabor threads a catheter through the groin to the carotid artery, then to a tiny artery going to the eye. Chemo is then injected. Here we can achieve what we want to do in a small dose because it goes directly and target the tumor. It's really very rewarding to see that uh, we're able to make a difference in the outcome of those babies. After three treatments, Manaya is on the road to recovery. Her eye is saved and she will have some vision. Dr. Shield says other families should follow the Reeves. Always get a second opinion. Because you want to be perfectly comfortable with any medical decision regarding your care. No matter what the result would be, as long as I can sleep well at night going, I did all that I could. Mm -hmm. And there are risks involved with the procedure, but doctors here locally have had excellent results. They have saved the child's eye in 70 to 80 percent of cases. Now, as for that second opinion, a lot of families don't think they have time, especially with cancer. But in most cases, you do have time and it is worth the effort. And Jim, a lot of hospitals actually make it very easy to get that second opinion. We have more information on that on 6abc.com. And it makes a difference when your second opinion is at a world-class hospital like Will's Eye Hospital. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. And even just, you know, even if they didn't find anything different, just to get reassurance. Right. Thank you, Allie. Mm -hmm.